On uh, November the 25th of last year, the uh, Fresno Police Department uh, responded to Wayne's Liquor located at 54 East California Avenue for a report of a gunshot victim. Uh, on arrival, officers located uh, 21 year old Adriana Gonzalez uh, suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. Um, later, after officer performed life saving measures, um, she was pronounced deceased. The homicide unit uh, furthered the investigation and worked tirelessly on this case. I can tell you personally uh, that I responded to the uh, actual scene that day and uh, witnessed uh, what can only be described as a, as a horrible and horrific act uh, that occurred at that location. Uh, we we're fortunate in the sense that we did have video evidence that captured uh, the incident in its entirety. Um, the homicide unit has authored no less than 42 search warrants in this investigation. Um, in relatively short order, we were able to determine that there were several people responsible for this uh, particular violent act. Um, we have identified uh, Devin Senegal and Amina Norman as the persons responsible for the death of Ms. Gonzalez and have subsequently obtained an arrest warrant for both of them. We's all, we have also determined that uh, Sabrina Ramirez is culpable for an uh, accessory in this case and have obtained an arrest warrant for her as well. So uh, this particular case is uh, unique in the sense that uh, we have identified suspects and have had them identified for quite some time. Um, and this has turned from uh, more of an investigative method into more of an apprehension phase. Um, we're working with the U.S. Marshals. We're working with uh, our local and uh, federal authorities to try to locate these individuals. I can tell you um, that what makes this very difficult in terms of apprehending them is the fact that uh, these individuals are involved in sex trafficking, they're involved in prostitution, and that they frequent many different locations, not just the Fresno area. Although they do hail from the Fresno region, um, we have information at times that they're in Las Vegas. We know that they've been in Sacramento and uh, down in Bakersfield. So um, uh, I'm confident that, uh, that one day we will, in fact, make an arrest on these individuals. Uh, I understand the frustration from the family. Uh, I would also be frustrated. Uh, but I, I think it's important to note that uh, there are many cases where well, quite honestly, we never solve them and we never know who's responsible. This is a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, but rather when. Uh, the long arm of the law doesn't matter if you're in Nevada, doesn't matter if you're across the United States. We have a warrant in the system. We will find you, we will bring you back, and you will be held accountable. Um, you covered it all. Is there anything else you think that could possibly add to the story? Going to do later on? Yeah, you know, we do have a, a Crime Stop reward out there. Um, we do, uh, we are very diligent in following up on those leads. Um, I would, however, um, say that it's probably not a good idea for individuals that are um, related to our victim in this case to actively try to go out and look for them themselves if they have information. Uh, specifically, if they know where they're at, dial 911. We'll send pe police officers immediately out to that location. Uh, otherwise, um, uh, I think that we need to have a little measured approach when it comes to this. Well, these are individuals are considered armed and dangerous. We do know that they are uh, violent, and we know that they've killed somebody in the past. So we would uh, really avoid, want to avoid any further injury from anybody else getting hurt. Did those two, do, do they have a record? That, is that how you guys kind of put two and two together, about the prostitution and the sex oh, yeah. trafficking thing? Yeah, uh, and as I mentioned, you know, we have had more than 40 search warrants in this case. And, um, you know, there are many investigative techniques that we utilize, um, social media, cell phones, trap and trace, uh, the list goes on and on. Um, I can tell you, though, that these individuals, uh, they operate with a criminal mentality, and it makes it difficult for us to, to locate them. Uh, I would be remiss if I told you that we knew where they were at, because if we knew where they were at, well, we'd go and arrest them. Uh, but we're working on it, and I'm confident that uh, one day we'll see them inside of a courtroom, and we will, in fact, get justice for Mr. Mrs. Gonzalez. And those two, have they been arrested before? Do they have a... Oh, yeah. They do have a lengthy criminal history. Both of them do. Yeah. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel, where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.